we go to different <laughs> rock outcrops in the Atacama, and then we collect different deposits that are in preserved in caves and rock shelters. And these deposits are what we call them, we call them rhodomittens, and a midden is an accumulation of uh, a bunch of uh, debris of, uh, that, you can, that, are, that are collected by mice and rats and hoarded into a small area, a small cave or a small alcove. And in this, a and, and they include different things like flowers, leaves, seeds, uh, also lots of fecal pellets and, and insects even. And all this stuff is encased in, in urine, in a crystallized matrix of urine. And it can, it can last for thousands of years. In fact, we have samples that are uh, tens of thousands of years old, even beyond the limit of radiocarbon dating. The information that we get out of them is, uh, is really interesting because we can actually look at variations in, in pellet size in, and we can actually do a statistical analysis of variations of pellet size over time. And why is it important to look at pellet size? Well, it's important because the pellet, the size of the pellet is actually an indicator of body size changes of rodent populations in the past. And body size change is one of the key factors that permits uh, mammals to adapt to climate change. And so we're actually lo interested in looking at how climate change will affect, uh, has affected in the past these, these rodent populations in the Atacama Desert. And by doing that, what do we get? We actually get uh, a record of past uh, rainfall uh, that we can actually replicate uh, to a very, very precise level.